Today we are talking about everything that Mortal Kombat did right and the stuff that really gave them a successful launch. Let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's talk about the things that Mortal Kombat 1 did, just did so right. First of all, let's talk about the amazing roster here, man. We Mortal Kombat 1 probably has one of the best rosters that we've seen in quite literally years. We got 3D era characters like Natara, Havoc, Ashra, and even Reiko, man, you love to see it. Of course, we have the staple characters like Scorpion and Sub-Zero, Raiden, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, and even if you don't see your favorite character ever in this main roster one of your favorite characters might be a cameo character and though they're not a full-fledged playable character they do make an appearance which is great characters you might not have seen for a long time like serena or darius if you're a striker fan you kind of got striker in a way motaro was a wild card and so cool to see the only disappointment in this is classic characters like sonya kano and Jax all became cameo so they're not fully playable but they kind of are playable in a way you know what i'm saying like, I'm not mad about the cameo system. Some people might be. I actually really enjoy it. And this is just the base roster as of now. We all know we're getting even more characters, combat packs and such, with guest characters as well, like Omniman, Homelander, Peacemaker. We're getting returning Mortal Kombat characters like Quan Chi and Ermac and even Takeda. Who knows what the future holds and what this roster is going to look like at the end. If you're watching this in a couple years after publishing and the roster is just twice this size, let me know what your thoughts are. Also, the story in this game is just a roller coaster of emotions and hype. It was a really good, well told story. I can recognize and see its flaws, but it was just so much fun. Mortal Kombat has been known for their fighting game storytelling, and they just knocked it out of the park with Mortal Kombat 1. I would recommend playing their story at least two or three times. To go back to the cameo system, I'll tell you right now that I personally believe that the cameo system is what's gonna make Mortal Kombat 1 known and never forgettable meaning you're going to remember you know mortal kombat 11 as like the mortal kombat that had terminator and robocop but people are going to remember mortal kombat 1 as the as the mortal kombat that had cameos the kind of tag system kind of where they were able to give us a ton of characters that again might not be playable but they are kind of playable using the cameo system and what i love most about the cameo system is for an example i play a raid and i always have and raiden though i want to play a raiden the cool part about the cameos is they make my raiden play different ways like 15 different ways already so it's like my raiden with scorpion will play differently than my raiden with let's say striker or my raiden with cyrax like the, the cameos change the way that you play your main characters you can essentially just have one main i'm a fan of having two or three mains but if you choose to have just the one main you can have one main with let's say four or five different cameos they have different tools and different moves that do different things that can just really change your combos and your gameplay and i absolutely love that invasions is the new game mode that mortal kombat 1 introduced kind of replacing the crypt along with conquest kind of this is where you can go have secret fights you can actually go battle it out here against three enemies you can unlock brutalities and cosmetics and skins for your character there's some boss battles there's tower battles there's talismans you can use to enhance the gameplay it is a really cool fun unique way to kind of step away from the normal fights the online fights even the story and just have something else to work on something else to do and they're always enhancing it with new seasons and such and i love that so as of right now we're getting season two in just a couple days so that's super cool so i can't wait to see what future seasons bring to invasions and how they expand upon it the breaker system is back in mortal kombat 1 giving you a great defensive option allowing you to break out of combos really flip the turn back into your favor and it can be an absolute game changer so having breaker back is actually so nice you can break out of a combo tell your opponent nope i'm not dying today and then really take your turn back and honestly possibly have some great comebacks using the breaker system it's a bit more expensive to use on resources than i would like personally but i'm so glad it's back you know what else is back brutalities and oh my gosh they are so much fun to pull off i am a, i'm a bigger fan personally of brutalities compared to fatalities it's just a great way to end the fight super fast but also in a really cool flashy way like who doesn't want to end a fight in a sick brutality dude if i'm gonna end that fight i'm gonna do it in a cool way like how cool is that the fight's already over and then we get to see the brutality i'm sorry it came to this 
Jesus. One of the best parts about Mortal Kombat 1 is you can customize your character in multiple ways. So for an example, you can do like, a, you have a single gear piece. So for Raiden, we have the hat, we can customize the hat in any which way that we want along with the palette of the character. In the palettes, you have skins per character and you have actually palette, like color palettes per skin. So if I want to use this skin or that skin, the different color palettes per those skins, you can favorite your favorite ones and then randomize through your favorites through each fight. You can customize which taunt you're going to be using. And of course you have the finishers. I wish there was a bit more customization, maybe with like the intros or the outros and stuff, but this is still great regardless. Not only that, but you can customize your cameo fighter as well. So if you have a favorite cameo, you can give that cameo different skins and stuff. So he's like, okay, do I want this color palette with this character and this cameo? It's just a nice little touch that gives you that extra customization if you want to making every fight look different and to your preference and you love to see it These are just my favorite things about Mortal Kombat 1 my dudes Let me know down below. What do you think Mortal Kombat did right? What do you think it did wrong? Let me know down below subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time